Hi guys, welcome to Empower In. My name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel. So in this video for Motivation Monday, I wanted to talk about trusting your intuition. Your intuition as a nurse is something that will probably grow as you see more and more patients, but it's something like, it's like that still small voice inside that's kind of like always guiding you. And what I found is that when I usually just listen to this voice and you know use it as like a second check or a guiding voice, it's really helped me out a lot. So let me give you one example of when my intuition really seriously helped a patient. So one day I was taking care of a patient who was nonverbal and I was receiving a report in the room from the nurse and I noticed that the patient was a little bit diaphoretic. She's been diaphoretic. It's not anything new. It's been going on for like a few days. I was like, that's interesting. She's like, doctors are aware. I'm like, okay. She continues giving me a report. The patient's incontinent. We need to turn the patient every two hours. You know, like the usual, you know, hands-off report. So I'm like, all right, that's fine. So as I'm taking care of the patient, probably around like 9 a.m., and the patient's blood pressure is a little bit high, it's not critical. She still has this diaphoresis that I'm just, I just don't feel good about this. I'm looking at her labs, I'm looking at her vital signs, and I'm like, nothing's that critical. I just, I don't know what's going on. So I got the charge nurse, and I was like, can you just help me with this patient? I don't know what's going on. Something's going on. I can't figure it out. What are your thoughts? So she does the same thing I do. We check the vital signs. She's looking at the patient. She's like, you're right, something's not right. And you know, something just wasn't adding up. But the labs were fine. They weren't like too critical. They were along where they had been. So long story short, she says, you know what? I don't feel good about this patient. You don't feel good about this patient. Let's call just a quick rapid response. Let's get some more opinions. And I was like, great. That's all I needed to hear. So I called a rapid response. And one thing that I love, 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 love about being in the hospital is that you can basically call these emergencies and um, you can get doctors and other professionals to help you make an educated um, decision. And they can help you, you know, all come together and try to put all of your heads together. So I called a rapid response and everybody's in the room just like staring at the patient. We're all like, something's not right. And then finally somebody said, when was the last time she went to the bathroom? And I was like, oh, she's incontinent. Let me see if she's wet. She wasn't wet. She was like dry as a bone. And then I was like, oh my God. I was like, I need a bladder scanner like right now. And then so we got the bladder scanner and it said 999. So I'm not really sure if the last nurse didn't notice that she didn't go to the bathroom at all. For me, I guess I didn't notice until then because it was only 9 a.m. So, you know, sometimes people go a few hours without going to the bathroom. But right then, we put in a Foley. I immediately got out like 1,200 and it was like pussy looking. So right there, she was having acute urinary retention, which for nonverbal patients is very critical that we pay attention to that. She also, by the color of the urine, looked like she was having a massive infection. So had this gone on, she probably would have gotten septic. So anyways, that's my story for the day. Just to help you, you know, trust your intuition. You can't figure out something's wrong and you think there is, you know, do all the necessary checks. Your checks may turn out to be nothing at all, but at least you listened and, you know, relieved that, that feeling that there might be something else. So, all right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful Monday and I can't wait to see you next Monday. I'll talk to you then. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time for the weekly nursing pre-huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the dean's list. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.